going to use the SPSS here. After you click on your um, SPSS program, this is the view. And then what would you like to do? Yeah, you can just close it if you do not need to open like an existing data source. Now here, so this is the variable view for inserting the types of the variables or the details on the variables. But if you have the data ready on your spreadsheet or Excel, you can go directly to the data view. And then just simply copy paste the data that you have on the spreadsheet. So I have the data here consisting of name and then um, the average score and then the, what is it? Uh, frequency on visiting the library and then parents job as well as the age of the student you can go directly copying here and then try to paste here okay and the name of the variable will directly change into var1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you want to change it, you can go to the variable view here and give the name. For the name, you do not need to give a complete name, just simply on, like, for example, nama. And then the second variable is score new line the third variable is Rajinan. yeah you can just write Rajin. and then the fourth is the parents job Karja. and the last one is the age okay and then for the type yeah usually the SPSS will directly um, recognize the type of the variables like string whether it's string string is for text and then numeric is for numbers yeah because um, nama is the string type so you can just choose that and then the width you can leave it like that or you can um, what is it you can set it based on the data that you have um, nama, yeah, based on the data, Fitriani is the longest, and it has like four, eight, eight characters. So the width is eight without any decimal, and then you can give the label, nama siswa, for example. This is the label is the inf the detailed information on the variable. And then values, because it's only the text, you just leave it, the leave the values, and then the columns just live like that, and it's the nominal. And then for nilai, it is absolutely a numeric. And then the width, you can set it into two or three. Oh, sorry, four with two decimals. Okay, four and with two decimals. And you can give the label here, nilai rata rata, values none, missing none. Right, and then the measure for nilai is the scale. And then kerajinan. Kerajinan, you can choose, yeah, numeric. And you can choose two or maybe one, but okay. The decimal should be zero. And you can change it into two. And 
kerajinan ke perpustakaan. This one. Okay, because it is a ordinal, so you need to give the values. Let's check on the spreadsheet. Keterangan on the ordinal here. Satu for malas, dua for sedang, and then tiga for rajin. So you can write it here. Values. Input one. Malas. And add. And then two for sedang. Then you add this one and three for rajin. Add this one and then you put OK. And for the measure, you need to make it into ordinal data. And then for kerja, numeric also. And it's like the ordinal data, yeah. So the width is only two and then with zero decimal and you can write it here pekerjaan orang tua and the value because it's a nominal data you need to also put the value labels. You can check here one for PNS, two for abri, three for pedagang, four for petani and then five for nelayan. And S two four abri three four the gum four what is it petani and then five nelayan. And then click OK. And this one is the nominal data. For usia, yeah, without any decimal values, maybe two or three. Usia, this one. No values, and it should be scale. Okay. After you edit that, you can go to your data view again, and it will be like this directly. Malas sedang rajin. Okay. Or you can um, change it into number, for example value labels it will be like this but if you want to show the value just click on the view and then value labels and you can directly save it for data yeah with any names data then save And you can use this data or you can open this data later if you want to analyze it using the SPSS formula or calculation. Okay. So that's all for the introduction for the basic feature of the SPSS. And then later I will make another video for um, using SPSS for statistical calculation.